وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا ارحم الراحمين. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us, benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge. My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the people who listen and apply. Today in our JAR episode, just a reminder, which is a reminder for myself and to, to my beloved brothers and sisters, we will be mentioning uh, the six ayat of Sakina. The six ayat of tranquility in the Quran, subhanAllah. As we know, my brothers and sisters, during our everyday life, we go through sadness and grief and stress and anxiety, and sometimes even we go through some depression. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have uh, told us in the Quran that the Quran itself, وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءُ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ In the Quran itself, there is shifa, there is a cure and there's mercy to the believers and there's a cure for all the intellectual doubts and there's a cure also for the physical body subhanallah so the ayat of sakina the, the word sakina it is come it comes from the word sukun sukun means peace and tranquility subhanallah and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the quran he told us in surah al-rum that our spouses are the sakina to us we are sakina to them and they are sakina to, to us, subhanAllah. لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا This is the way it's supposed to be. When we go home, we are supposed to find peace and, and love and, and tranquility in our homes. May Allah fill all our homes with love and peace. Uh, our scholars, they pointed out that sakina is primarily achieved by adhering to Islam. Adhering to the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and staying away from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he was talking about his teacher, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah, and I will quote what he said. He said, whenever matters became intense, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah would recite the ayat of Sakina. I once heard him, Ibn al-Qayyim saying, I once heard him say concerning a serious incident that afflicted him during an illness of his. Ibn Taymiyyah was you saying, when the matter became acute, I said to my relatives and those around me, recite the ayat of Sakina. I would then be relieved from this condition and my heart would be freed of his trouble. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimullah said, I also experienced this on reading these verses, when my heart became disturbed over something that troubled it. I experienced their tremendous effect in terms of the calm and peace they brought. Subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, what are these six ayat? One in Surah Al-Baqarah, two in Surah At-Tawbah, and three in Surah Al-Fatih. The first one is in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 248. Translation, the closest translation. And their prophet said to them, the sign of his kingship is that there shall come to you the ark wherein is tranquility from your Lord. The second ayah in Surah At-Tawbah, ayah number 26. ثُمَّ أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ ثُمَّ أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَى رَسُولِهِ وَعَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And then Allah sent down His tranquility upon His Prophet and upon the believers. And the third in Surah At-Tawbah, Surah uh, Ayah number 40. إِذْ يَقُولُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ 
إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَيْهِ وَأَيَّدَهُ بِجُنُودٍ لَمْ تَرَوْهَا the story took place when, Allah, when Rasulullah and Abu Bakr were in the cave. And he said to his companion, do not despair. Allah is with us. Then Allah caused his tranquility to descend upon him and supported him with invisible forces. Fourth ayah in Surah Al-Fatih, ayah number four. هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم ولله جنود السماوات والأرض وكان الله عليما حكيما He it is who sent down tranquility into the hearts of the believers so they would have more faith added to their faith and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the owner of the heavens and the earth and Allah is the all-knowing and the all-wise. Ayah number 5 in Surah Al-Fatih, Ayah number 18. لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ يُبَايِعُونَكَ تَحْتَ الشَّجَرَةِ فَعَلِمَ مَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ فَأَنزَلَ السَّكِينَةَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَأَثَابَهُمْ فَتْحًا قَرِيبًا and Allah was well pleased with the believers when they swore alliance to you under the tree and he knew what was in their hearts. Thus, he sent down tranquility on them and rewarded them with a near victory. And the last ayah also in Surah Al-Fatih, ayah number 26. إِذْ جَعَلَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الْحَمِيَّةَ حَمِيَّةَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةَ فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَىٰ رَسُولِهِ وَعَلَىٰ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And when the disbelievers had set up in their hearts chauvinism, the chauvinism of the age of ignorance, then Allah sent down His tranquility on His messenger and upon the, the believers. Subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, these are the six ayat of sakina, the six ayat of tranquility that they are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the words of Allah. There's no, nothing better than remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we are going through difficulties huh? and through hardships, through sadness. When these ayat are recited with awareness, with uh, comprehension, with tadabbur, with contemplation, with understanding, they will have the effect just like our uh, shiyukh, our scholars, Ibn al-Qayyim rahimullah and Ibn Taymiyyah rahimullah, they said they felt their effect in their life. We will have the same insha'Allah ta'ala if we say them with yaqeen that the words of Allah are always a cure. My brothers and sisters, tranquility. Tranquility is priceless. No money can buy sakina. So alhamdulillah rabbi alameen. Let's apply these ayat in our life, insha'Allah ta'ala, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fill all our homes with love and mercy and tranquility. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashad an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Kitabun unzila ilayka fala yakun fi sadrika harajum منه لتنذر به وذكرى لل